first of all, when you when you contacted me through email about the possibility of a bassoon concert, that was really exciting. Uh, the library, we want to make it a third space where people come and be part of the, be a community hub for a variety of things, cultural, um, intellectual, uh, technology. So this fit right in with what what we want to do, uh, and. One of the things that excited me about it is I thought, oh, I don't know that many people are familiar with the bassoon. And so any time that we can bring culture, but also a component of, of learning, uh, that's ideal. And so uh, that was wonderful. And then when we saw, uh, it was a great turnout. And I thought what was really neat was uh, the variety of ages. Uh, and one of the people that uh, uh, was a father and son, I actually had known him for many years, but hadn't seen him in many years. Uh, that was neat to hear why they came to the concert. And it was, a, it, he's just an awesome dad who is trying to expose his child to all sorts of different learning opportunities. And, um, and they're, they're a very neat family. They have their own unique hobbies. And it was really satisfying that um, that this program fit right in with what he's trying to do with his child as far as um, just widening his perspective as his environment. So that was really neat. Uh, and then um, the music of or, or Australian in general just has a, a kind of a special place in my heart because my favorite basketball player of all times is uh, Patty Mills. And he is uh, from Australia. He's uh, Aboriginal. And uh, he played for the San Antonio Spurs for many years and brought many uh, cultural artifacts to several of the museums and had lectures and talks and, and I thought, oh my gosh, he would have been so proud. <laughs> Hearing it by itself, it, it did start making me think about what, what what does he mean by that. But when we saw the the photographs and, and then the um, the explanation about the the um, the bushfires and all that, and uh, for me that brought it together that these are sounds that uh, we have to protect and and preserve uh, so that we can continue to hear them. So these are sounds that we've heard people have heard for years the the wildlife and and all that, and then just that we have to preserve them. That is actually one of our city's core values, is engagement. And so it, it it's, one, it's very nice because it's one of the library's core values even before the city adopted it. Uh, so it's just really neat to be able to, um, to further that. Uh, and we're so lucky to have SFA because we draw on the SFA uh, community for a lot of different subjects. Uh, and it, when I was little, uh, our school district uh, would take us all to the Coliseum. I'm from San Antonio, and the San Antonio uh, Symphonic uh, Organization would put out a concert. And for many of us, that was that in Looney Tunes was the only exposure to to symphonic music, and um, and we still, my husband and I grew up in the same school district, and we still remember going being bus there and how neat it was, uh, and the perception of um, you had to be wealthy to go to these things, but they made it accessible for us, and so to me that was one of the other things that really. Um, I really enjoyed having that and, and hope to have other other concerts and it makes it accessible for the, for those people that maybe can't afford um, a concert ticket or it's too expensive or they can't go somewhere. Um, you can come here and still enjoy world-class uh, musicians and composers and getting to see uh, what does a composer look like uh, because I think that's... we. Uh, for many people that it seems like it's something that happened in the 1800s or 1900s but it's still going on people are still composing and and, and it's i don't know it's just i thought it was really neat